CD4020 is a 14-bit binary counter. It has 12 output pins, starting from Q1 to Q14, excluding Q2 and Q3. As you might have noticed on the output side, output pins Q2 and Q3 are missing. These pins are present internally, and are not user accessible to keep the package small. When an input clock pulse is given to the clock pin, for each pulse the binary value gets incremented, from 14 times 0 to 14 times 1, which is equivalent to 0 and 16,383 inches decimal. This behavior of the IC can be used to build counters and dividers, also it is very commonly used for timing related applications. So if you are looking for a 14-bit binary counter which can be incremented through a clock pulse, then this IC might be of interest to you. Using CD4020 binary counter IC is pretty simple. Just power the IC through the VSS and ground pins. It has a wide operating voltage from 3 volts to 18 volts, but typically 5 volts is used. Once the IC is powered, all the binary outputs will be zero, then the binary value can be incremented by providing a clock pulse to clock pin. For each clock signal, the binary value gets incremented by 1. To reset the counter the reset pin can be pulled high. For simulation purpose in Proteus, we do not need to provide power supply and ground signal because it is connected by default in Proteus. Now let's apply a clock signal to CD4020 binary counter and after that run the simulation. As you can see, binary values are appearing on the output pins. CD4020 binary counter is commonly used for creating time delays as small as 1 milliseconds to even 2 hours or more. For example, if we apply clock input with a frequency of 1 Hz from a triple 5 timer IC to clock pin, then the output pins will go high at the time interval shown in the table. As you can see from the table, with 1 Hz frequency, pin Q1 will go high after 1 second. Pin 2 after 2 seconds, pin 3 after 4 seconds, pin 4 after 8 seconds, and pin Q14 after 2 hours. Similarly by varying the clock signals we can obtain shorter or longer time intervals. This comes in very hand in timing applications, frequency counters etc. Once the binary counter has reached to maximum value, it will reset to zero again. It is also possible to cascade more than one binary counter for higher decimal counting. The time interval, at which a specific pin will become high, depends on the clock frequency. We can calculate this time interval by this formula, where F is a frequency of clock input, and N is a number of the output pin. Thanks for watching this video, see you with next video.